Um, so, uh, good morning. It's Palm Sunday. Welcome to our Palm Sunday service. Uh, we are experimenting with Zoom, so if you're watching this live on Facebook, uh, hopefully uh, you can see the glorious uh, faces of uh, Richard Blackwell, Stephen Edwards and uh, Linda Buckley. Uh, we are all um, sharing in the service today. Um, and uh, as this is the first time we've done this and we're doing it live, um, uh, it may or may not work, but I'm, I'm reassured that uh, Somebody tells me that we are live on Facebook. Um, can, uh, Stephen, I think you reassured me that we're, we're genuinely on Facebook. Is that right? I will check. Oh, right. I didn't realise he was going to go. Anyway, so welcome. Um, hopefully you will have made a palm cross out of some strips of paper. Um, if you followed the instructions on Facebook, Richard uh, has his. Uh, Stephen, have you got uh, a palm cross handy? And then the, same uh -huh. question, then the same question to Linda. This is the first one. Excellent. The second one. Oh, right. That's, and the third one. Uh, that's what the Book of Common Prayer calls a work of super erogation, which is where you go over and above what anyone could reasonably expect of you. Uh, so, um, and, and you've, you've checked, we're live on Facebook. Uh, the idea is that uh, this... Um, uh, service will be recorded and then we'll I'll upload it to YouTube as well I can't I can't um, find a way of doing um, uh, live on Facebook and YouTube at the same time so we're going to go with Facebook and then upload it so if you want to follow uh, on YouTube um, there'll be a recorded version for people to do that so um, welcome to morning worship for Palm Sunday obviously at the heart of Palm Sunday uh, normally we expect to give out palm crosses and we won't be doing that today so you have to provide your own cross if you're able to do that um, and there would normally be a procession as well we've done this some years and not other depending on the weather today would have been a lovely day to go out of church and to have a wander around and uh, process um, around the parish or something like that we're not able to do that so uh, there we are good morning to uh, uh, to Sally and Jane who've, who've commented uh, on Facebook and good morning to all of you uh, who are watching this live. Right, so the next thing I'm going to do is I am going to let you see the order of service for Palm Sunday and uh, that will come up on your screen so that uh, watching this I hope you'll be able to join in and uh, so let's have a look, let's see, can you, perhaps uh, someone can confirm for me that uh, you can read my screen that says Palm Sunday. I can't. Okay, is that not being shared? Let's have a look. Let's see if I've if I've done that wrong. Um, right. Um, this worked really well earlier on, uh, but I'm now looking for, ah, there we are, lost, I've lost my, my, my toolbar, um, so now I need to find, Oh, there we are, share screen. You there. Okay, there we go. Sorry about that. That's, that's, uh, this is all new, uh, and we're finding out how these things work as we go along. So hopefully you can now see uh, an order of service that says Palm Sunday with the two logos, St. Cross Church and St. Matthew's Church. Um, in uh, glorious uh, Technicolor or thereabouts. Uh, so Palm Sunday, the liturgy for Palm Sunday begins with us thinking about, uh, obviously we're thinking about Jesus coming into Jerusalem, riding on a donkey. Uh, Linda is going to be the congregation today, but obviously if you're watching this at home, you can join in with the lines that are in dark black type. So Linda, you begin. 
Hosanna to the son of David. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Behold, your king comes to you, O Zion. And now my screen is frozen, so just forgive me. Behold, your king comes to you, O Zion, meek and lowly, sitting upon an ass. Ride on in the cause of truth and for the sake of justice. Your throne is the throne of God. It endures forever. And the scepter of your kingdom is a righteous scepter. You have loved righteousness and hated evil. Therefore, God, your God, has anointed you with the oil of gladness above your fellows. Hosanna to the son of David. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. And then words of greeting. So if you were here in church with me, um, I'm in the vicarage, you're in your own home. Uh, I would uh, greet you with these words and then there is a response in the dark black type that uh, I hope you'll join in with. Grace, mercy and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you. And also with you. Thank you. Uh, we always um, in church services have a moment of confession. That is to say, uh, we remember that we're not really the people that we would like to be. Uh, we're not always the people that we think God would like us to be. Uh, and we certainly are sometimes a disappointment to one another. Uh, but the good news is that we are loved. God loves us uh, and uh, wants the very best for us. And so in our church services, we do uh, we, we have a moment where we admit to God that we haven't always been the people we would like to be. Uh, but we do that knowing that God loves us and wants the very best for us. So that's what this is, the words of confession. And then there are some responses that will come up on the screen um, as we go through. Lord Jesus Christ, we confess we have failed you, as did your first disciples. We ask for your mercy and your help. Our selfishness betrays you. Lord, forgive us. Christ, have mercy. We fail to share the pain of your suffering. Lord, forgive us. Christ, have mercy. We run away from those who abuse you. Lord, forgive us. Christ, have mercy. We are afraid of being known to belong to you. Lord, forgive us. Christ, have mercy. And now we're going to receive God's forgiveness and his healing love. May Almighty God, who sent his Son into the world to save sinners, bring you his pardon and peace now and forever. Amen. Amen. So let's, uh, let's see your palm crosses. Um, here's mine, uh, made with um, instructions that were on our, our Facebook page that we borrowed from uh, another church that posted them very kindly. Uh, I'm just going to say good morning to people, uh, Carol and Liz and Jean. Uh, you're all there with your palm crosses, uh, as well as the rest of us. So if you've got your palm cross, I'm going to say that prayer, and, uh, and then you can hang on to that for the rest of the year. God, our Saviour, whose Son Jesus Christ entered Jerusalem as Messiah to suffer and to die, let these palms be for us signs of his victory and grant that we who bear them in his name may ever hail him as our king and follow him in the way that leads to eternal life, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. I've got a couple of readings uh, for you today. The first of them is the psalm, psalm verses from Psalm 118, and uh, Stephen is going to read these for you. Psalm 118, a song of victory. O oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His steadfast love endures forever. Let Israel say, his steadfast love endures forever. Open to me the gates of righteousness, that I may enter through them and give thanks to the Lord. This is the gate of the Lord. The righteous shall enter through it. I thank you that you have answered me and have become my salvation. The stone that the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone. This is the Lord's doing. It is marvellous in our eyes. 
This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Save us, we beseech you, O Lord. O Lord, we beseech you, give us success. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. We bless you from the house of the Lord. The Lord is God. He has given us light. Bind the festal proce procession with branches up to the horns of the altar. You are my God, and I will give thanks to you. You are my God, I will extol you. I will give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his steadfast love endures forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Amen. And now Richard is going to read uh, the, the gospel for today, which is the account of Jesus' uh, entry into Jerusalem. Hear the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Matthew. Glory, Glory to, to you, O oh Lord. Jesus' triumphal into Jerusalem. When they had come near Jerusalem and had reached Bethphage at the Mount of Olives, Jesus sent two disciples, saying to them, Go into the village ahead of you, and immediately you will find a donkey tied and a colt with her. Untie them and bring them to me. If anyone says anything to you, just say this, The Lord needs them, and he will send them immediately. This took place to fulfil what had been spoken through the prophet, saying, Tell the daughter of Zion, Look, your king is coming to you, humble and mounted on a donkey, and on a colt, the foal of a donkey. The disciples went and did as Jesus had directed them. They brought the donkey and the colt and put their cloaks on them, and he sat on them. A very large crowd spread their cloaks on the road. Others cut branches from the trees and spread them on the road. The crowds that went ahead of him and that followed with shouting, Hosanna, the son of David. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest heaven. When he entered Jerusalem, the whole city was in turmoil, asking, Who is this? The crowds were saying, This is the prophet Jesus from Nazareth in Galilee. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Uh, thank you, uh, Stephen and Richard, for our readings. Um, and in the order of service, I'm, I'm reusing one that we've done uh, previously. Um, and then, as I said, this, is, this would be the procession. Uh, let us go forth praising Jesus, our Messiah. Um, and uh, in previous years, we've gone out from the church building and gone for a walk, uh, a procession, um, and uh, the idea is to think about Jesus entering into Jerusalem um, and uh, his uh, being welcomed by the crowds. Uh, when I'm preaching on this, and I'm, I'm not planning a sermon today, you'll be disappointed to know, uh, but uh, I've been affected by a, a book by um, Dominic Crossan and Marcus Borg, which I read a few years ago. Uh, and the, the, Describing Palm Sunday, what they point out, something that perhaps we haven't thought about or hadn't thought about, is that, I mean, Jesus' procession into Jerusalem is a, a sort of mock version of the procession that Pilate would have done. Uh, Pontius Pilate lived out on the coast at Caesarea Philippi, um, uh, sorry, Caesarea Maritima, um, because uh, Jerusalem was, it was a, a, a hot and a busy and, and a dangerous place. Um, but he would come into the uh, into Jerusalem. Pilate would come into Jerusalem at the times of, of uh, the, the great sort of religious festivals, not because he was devout and pious, but because those were the times when uh, the crowds uh, were at their least trustworthy. And so Pilate would arrive surrounded, flanked by uh, today we'd call them kind of armed guards. I mean, they would have had. Uh, swords and, and, and shields and spears and uh, shining armour 
uh, he would have come in on a war horse uh, and entered Jerusalem just to show who is the boss. It's, it's obviously, it's the emperor of Rome. Um, and then from the other side comes this rag tag uh, and bobtail procession of Jesus on a donkey. And the contrast between those two processions uh, and what Borg and Crossan say is that, uh, that the message of Palm, this is me not preaching, by the way, <laughs> the message of Palm Sunday is, which procession are you in? Um, are you in the imperial procession, which is all about force and violence and power and money? Uh, or are you in the procession that follows Jesus, uh, the humble uh, peasant procession um, that comes in uh, and for all the world looks, um, uh, doesn't look like he's about to change the world. Uh, and of course, as we follow the story of Holy Week, we'll see how Jesus changes the world, uh, but maybe not in the way that uh, some of those crowds would have wanted. So there's uh, your, your Palm Sunday not sermon, uh, and it is just simply which, which procession are we in? The one that follows violence and power, or the one that speaks of love and compassion and humility. The collect, uh, every service we do has a collect, which is a special prayer. It changes from one week to the next or from one uh, season or festival to the next. Uh, so this is the collect for today, for Palm Sunday. Let us pray for a closer union with Christ in his suffering and in, in his glory. Just a moment of quiet. True and humble King, hailed by the crowd as Messiah, grant us the faith to know you and love you, that we may be found beside you on the way of the cross, which is the path of glory. Amen. Amen. Uh, Linda's now going to lead us in our prayers of intercession, and uh, you'll see that there is a response on the screen if you'd like to join. I'm going to leave some moments of quiet uh, before each response to give us a chance to bring our own thoughts and prayers. Let us bring to the Father our prayers of intercession through Christ who gave himself for the life of the world, for forgiveness for the many times we have denied Jesus. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord have mercy. Have mercy for grace to seek out those habits of sin, which means spiritual death, and by prayer and self-discipline to overcome them. Lord, at this difficult time, help us to spend time coming to you in prayer. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For Christian people that through the suffering of disunity, there may grow a rich union in Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those who make laws, interpret them and administer them, that our common life may be ordered in justice and mercy. And we think at this time of our government, give them wisdom. And those who are having to obey and enforce new laws, which are really difficult to follow. We ask for your blessing and wisdom on your people, Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those who still make Jerusalem a battleground, for anywhere in the world, Lord, facing warfare and violence, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those who have the courage and honesty to work openly for justice and peace. And we think at the moment especially of all our key workers, Lord. And again, in a moment of quiet, we'll bring before them before you. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those in the darkness and agony of isolation, that they may find support and encouragement. We pray for Debbie in hospital with coronavirus and her husband Terry, who's an NHS worker. And in a moment of quiet, we bring those before you, 
known to us. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those weighed down with hardship, failure or sorrow and feel that God is far from them. And we think of Carol in Nairobi and her family. And again, any known to us. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those who are tempted to give up the way of the cross. We think of all struggling with their faith at this time. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That we, with those who have died in faith, may find mercy in the day of Christ. We pray especially for the friends and family of Thelma Thomason and Albert Holt. And again, in a moment of quiet, those known to us. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Holy God, holy and strong, holy and immortal, have mercy upon us. Amen. Amen. On your screens, you'll now see the Lord's Prayer, which we're going to say together. Trusting in the compassion of God as our Saviour has taught us, so we pray. Our Father, Our Father in, heaven, in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom, your kingdom come, come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today, Give us today our, our daily bread. bread. Forgive, Forgive us our sins, as we forgive, forgive those who sin against us. us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, the power and the glory are yours, now and, now and forever. Amen. Uh, so thank you to Linda for leading us in prayer this morning. Um, before the closing words, which uh, again you'll see on the screen, um, just to let you know that um, on the first Sunday of the month um, at St Matthew's we normally uh, have Evensong, um, evening prayer from the Book of Common Prayer. Uh, so this evening at 6.30, I'm going to be leading um, a service. It won't be Evensong because there won't be any singing in it, but a, a said uh, evening prayer using the words from the Book of Common Prayer. Uh, so if you would like to join me, um, again, it will go live on Facebook and uh, hopefully will be uploaded to YouTube as well. Um, or if you know somebody who would appreciate, particularly um, those the very traditional words of evening prayer from the Book of Common Prayer that will be familiar, uh, I guess, to older people more so than, than perhaps many young people. Uh, but uh, young people may find uh, some comfort in them as well. So Book of Common Prayer, evening prayer um, at 6.30 live on Facebook and then hopefully uploaded after that to YouTube. Um, but uh, in the meantime, can I just say thank you to Stephen, Richard and Linda and to everyone else who's joined us uh, on Facebook and those who will later watch this on YouTube. Um, and uh, coming up, uh, we come into Holy Week, our journey towards Good Friday and Easter. Um, during Holy Week, there will be a number of uh, live prayer streams. Um, I'm planning Monday to uh, Wednesday to do um, morning prayer at nine o'clock, uh, midday prayer at, at noon, um, evening prayer, I think I said 5.30, and then Compline at 7.30. Uh, so look out for those. And then on Good Friday, we will have um, a, a devotional service at about 10 o'clock, I think. Uh, so look out for that. Um, Easter Sunday itself uh, at 10.30, uh, I'm going to celebrate communion here at the vicarage. We can't be in church uh, and share it together, but I will celebrate um, a service of Holy Communion for you uh, to share uh, by, by watching and praying with me. Uh, if you need any more information, get in touch. And uh, we're looking forward to uh, gathering properly in church as, uh, as the church um, before too much longer. But in the meantime, uh, we welcome your prayers and uh, assure you of ours. So we draw to a close.
by seeking God's blessing. Christ crucified draw you to himself, to find in him a sure ground for faith, a firm support for hope and the assurance of sins forgiven. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen. Uh, we're not going far, but uh, still we go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name, in the name of, of Christ. Amen. Amen. So again, thank you very much uh, for being with us this morning and uh, look out for uh, evening prayer at 6.30 tonight. Uh, and then um, uh, morning prayer and so on uh, uh, during Holy Week. And uh, get in touch if there's anything else we can do. Uh, thank you, Richard, Stephen and Linda. And uh, thank you to everybody who's joined us. Uh, bless you. Amen.